Starbucks just opened its biggest location in the world here on Chicago's Magnificent Mile. In true Chicago fashion, it is freezing outside and there is a huge line of people waiting to check it out. I've been here since 5 a.m. My mom and I drove from Michigan. Oh my God. We decided just to, you know, take the day off and just have a great time. I've been here since 7 in the morning. It's freaking cold outside. Excited to be here though. The five floor, 35,000 square foot location is the sixth Starbucks Reserve Roastery. Other locations include New York City, Milan, and Tokyo. Starbucks Reserve Roasteries offers what Starbucks calls an immersive coffee experience with seven brewing methods, coffee inspired cocktails, and liquid nitrogen gelato. It truly is one of a kind. This location employs almost 200 people. There are three coffee bars that offer a total of seven brewing methods. You can get French press, pour over, and even siphon, which uses vacuum pressure to brew coffee. It's super packed in here, the lines are long, but the energy is awesome. At the center is a 56-foot steel cask, which stores the coffee after it's been roasted, and it distributes it throughout the whole building. On the first floor, Starbucks roasts green coffee beans and serves drinks like lattes and cappuccinos. This location expects to roast over 500 pounds of coffee every day. All of the coffee it serves was roasted on site. On the second floor, you can find the Princhy Bakery. It offers fresh bread, pizza, and desserts. Starbucks even designed a special conveyor system to deliver fresh baked goods to the first floor. The third floor is what Starbucks calls its experiential coffee bar. Customers can order unique drinks that go way beyond your standard cup of coffee. And this is the only Starbucks in the US where you can get liquid nitrogen gelato. Liquid nitrogen gelato? Oh my gosh! It's like a weird marriage of coffee and ice cream. On the fourth floor, there's the barrel-aged coffee bar and the cocktail bar. Here, Starbucks serves cocktail-inspired coffee drinks like the smoked cold fashioned and minted cold brew. It's so good. It's nothing like I've tried at your standard Starbucks. And I do feel like I'm drinking a cocktail, but it's, but it's coffee, it's cold brew. I just can't get over how well presented this is. So first you have this lovely bottle full of smoke. And in here, this beautiful glass, the ice cube, it has an imprint on it of the logo, which is specific to the Starbucks Reserve Roastery. So we're up here on the fourth floor. There is such a good vibe up here. Each floor is packed, but the energy is awesome. The Arriviamo Cocktail Bar serves both traditional and new exclusive cocktails. The Roastery Boilermaker Cocktail combines cold brew, whiskey, and Chicago's favorite, Malort. I mean, it tastes like grapefruit for sure. It has that kind of, that kick like Malort. It's really unique. I've never tried anything like this, let alone at a Starbucks. This new Starbucks has drinks that you can't get anywhere else. And it's huge. You could spend all day exploring this place. The drinks and the design of this reserve roastery are definitely worth the wait.